Hello and welcome to Dragon Basket, your amateur view on animation. Uh, join me in learning how to animate as I go to college to learn this stuff. Hopefully I'll have the same questions and concerns and drawbacks that you might have. I can take those to my teacher and perhaps give you feedback on that. Uh, today I'm doing my revised video for the Weightlifter project. This was a project that my current teacher for the Survey of Animation class added to the course. He did this because he wanted us to be able to, to assess us, our ability, and to let us practice drawing on somebody else's character model. So what drawing on model is, is you have a character and you want to make it look consistent throughout all of the animations. There are some exceptions like exaggerating and squash and stretch where you do go off model slightly to exaggerate the animation to give it the illusion of life. But for the most part, uh, you would find it very odd if in this video my head were like shrinking or growing sizes or like I uh, developed a divot in my cheek here for a few frames and or my I didn't have eyes for a couple of frames, you know, drawing on model is being able to draw on model model is very important. Sorry, my pseudo European accent is taking over a little bit while I'm mum stumbling through these words. Um, yeah, I, I've, I, I get I like it. I get a lot of comments on my accent. Don't know where it's from. A lot of people do Europe or Australia or New Zealand. Just depends on when you encounter me because um, I feel like I go through four or five dialects of my accent. Anyway, that random aside, um, to the weights lifter. Uh, last video I did a I did a little bit, uh, I did the rough form of this. Um, might be important to see the details, so I'm going to just make it a little bigger. Um, okay, and then let's go over to it. Yay, I have my cursor. So this is frame one. It's actually the same frame as the a previous one. Over here is when I get the improvement. Now, uh, I currently have these all on twos, so each image it has two frames per it, and I have it 12 frames per second. I'd prefer 24 frames per second, but I need more in-betweens to make this work. Uh, particularly um, right here, I probably need more frames. Um, and when he's doing this part from here on, I need more frames because he just looks like, yeah, yeah. You know, he's just very wild movement. Uh, I'll go to the beginning before I make more comments. Just let it play through a couple times. See, slow it isn't too bad. Although, for this down, up, down, up, when he leans forward, I think the I need to lean him even more forward. I didn't exaggerate that enough. Um, which is good. It gives me an, opportunity, an easy opportunity to add another in-between. Um, to smooth out the animation. If I do that, I might make... So this is his extreme. If I do that, I make, might make one of these two images um, on ones. So the image is only on for one frame. And just really exaggerate the lack of control and him just like throwing himself about to try to regain balance of the dumbbell. But yeah, so he is here. Uh, the first rough image is this one. The His arms are super stretched. I wasn't sure how, quite how to fix this. Um, and then I probably could use one or two in-betweens here to smooth out the dumbbell being pulled closer to him. And I probably could pull it even just a little bit closer to him. Um, cover up that, that leg like entirely and bring it in so that he can be stretched up without his arms being so extended. Um, but I would like to, 
I think from this, I would like to lean him over more and have him kind of stretch up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to ask my teacher for feedback on how to do that properly. And then I need one, at least one in between here so that the dumbbell isn't teleporting. I'd probably do two or three so that he's lifting and bringing it through the motion instead of teleporting. Um, and then same concept here, it's teleporting. Here I'm a little better with that. One down, come on, two down, and then he just mostly teleports back up, which is somewhat intended, although I think I need one more, f one more um, in between for both of those. So uh, the current positions I have are like full up, a little below medium, and then just below that. I think I need to make the bottom extreme a little more down here. I just didn't before because I didn't want to have the bar completely covering his face. So I currently have up, down, down. I want to add down, and then I probably repeat the last one and do up, just below top, and then top. And then I'd repeat that set, so he goes one, two, and then he loses balance. He leans back a little bit, and then he tries to gain balance and leans himself too forward, really far too forward, and then maybe one more too forward, and then he just whips himself back, but he lost, loses balance and falls over. And then, I did it last video, and maybe I should have done it this video, but uh, it's quick. Just is that gonna show up? Um, I closed the preview window in the software. There it is. Okay, so the quick change I just made is at the end here, I just uh, elongated him just laying there. Um, I'm behind on my courses, but if I have time, I'd like to have him laid there for a second and then just heave breath and then excel and then end it. You know, just that one last little bit of animation. Not anything complicated, but it's just something that would take time. I don't have a lot of that right now with my other classes going on. Uh, but this is going really well. I was really nervous about drawing on model, particularly for somebody else's character, you know. Um, I, I had my walk cycle and that was kind of difficult because I'm, not, I'm still pretty new to drawing. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to do a little bit better in the 2D rigging and 3D rigging animations. Uh, but all of them are going to take practice, and I do really want to learn to draw professionally. I have a lot of characters to design myself, and uh, I, I want to draw manga and stuff. I'm writing a lot of stories. or They're pretty much all on pause during this first semester while I'm getting used to being responsible again. Uh, anyway, there's the weightlifter. It's going really well. Uh, one thing I forgot to point out, and you may have noticed, he, in a, a lot of, after he picks up the dumbbell, like, he has hands in this frame, and this frame he doesn't have hands. Um, and when he starts leaning over, he doesn't have a face. Um, I need to look up and find uh, examples of the faces and hands so that I can draw them properly. And also, I'm probably going to struggle drawing them so small. Uh, so wish me luck. That's going to be the difficult part of this for me. But uh, there's the project. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm probably going to be posting a video to my other channel pretty soon. Uh, I like creating Overwatch character concepts. Um, and I... In the last three or four days, I made two. Um, con not the design of the concept, unfortunately. 
I haven't been, I haven't felt like I've had that time to sit down and create the design for the characters, but I have the abilities and the primary and secondary fire figured out and a passive because I'm a fan of the Your Overwatch channel and they made a really good case for every Overwatch hero needing to have a passive ability. So I'm including passives for all of my characters. Came up, usually I struggle with that part, but these last two characters I made came up with them really quickly. Uh, I think they're really interesting characters, so I'm excited to share them with you. Um, in other news, I've had a, I've technically had a TikTok account for a while, and I just plan on starting to actually post there soon. Um, my brain works very much in pseudo organization, so I'm kind of creating 24 episodes long seasons for TikTok, which I'm pretty sure not many people do seasons for TikTok, but that's just how my brain wants to work through it. You know, I'd rather post content consistently for a while, take a small break to be able to post consistently again. That's just how my brain wants to go through this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Christian of Dragon Basket. Uh, whatever my outro is or will be, and have a great day.